All right, this one's gonna be on a couple of functions I created to format my USB stick. Um, you can use it on hard drives and uh, SD cards or any other storage media too, but um, mainly I use it for you know my uh, USB flash drive and stuff like that. Uh, anyways, how does this work? So pretty simple. I call it um, format to USB, and we have a couple of was it a file systems here? So ext2, 3, and 4 is Linux, and we have a FAT32, it's kind of like a universal, and then we have like a Windows NTFS here, All right? Uh, pretty simple how to use it. So let's say if I want to format to, uh, let's say a FAT32 or something, uh, if you don't know what it does, you just hit enter on the function name, and it'll give you like a little help or a little info here. So this one is going to format it and create a partition, just one single partition that fills up the whole drive. And the way to use it is just call the function name, give it a label, whatever you want to call it, and the device. So to figure out your device, you can do sudo, uh, what was it, fdisk-l, and having a password. So I know my uh, USB stick, it's about uh, two gigs. So you can see right here is, you know, 1.9 here. And you gotta know the device. So this one is SDD. Now you have to get, this is the important part. You wanna get the right one because if you're gonna format the, the wrong drive, you're gonna lose your data, okay? So that's the one we're gonna use here, this one here. Uh, as opposed to this other one, this is my hard drive, which is 1.4 terabyte anyways this is the one we want to use SDD uh, so the way that you will use this here is you give your name we'll call this one what's today uh, we'll call it Thursday or something all right and what else we want to call it oh yeah you have to, to give it the uh, device um, location so this one's SDD so all you do is type in SDD and you hit enter now currently my drive is in mounted so if you want to unmount it from the GUI you can do um, you know is open up your what is that your file manager and you can unmount it this way if you want you can go unmount and now you can actually use it I'll show you how to do uh, the uh, command line way next time but if you want to unmount it you already did that and then let's run the command again uh, run it again here now it gives you a warning before you format. It says warning you are about to format a drive. Do you want to continue? You hit yes, then it'll continue. If you hit no or any other letter, and then it'll abort, right? But let's do that again here and we'll continue it. So we hit yes. And there we go. It'll format it to a FAT32. And it's gonna do a um was a, a test mount and it's going to give you permissions so you can have read write permissions to uh, all users groups um, any user okay anyway so now we have our I think we should have it right so now it's called Thursday and you can actually create a new folder uh, new documents whatever you want on your USB stick here pretty simple and let's explain the script here or uh, the functions where is it at? Let's see here. So this one I called it, uh, what was it? Format to USB. So you have extension 2. Um, I think we can zoom out a little bit here. Alright, so this is extension 2. So the first part is just, you know, giving a little usage uh, and uh, explanation what it is. And this one is to test it if it's... Uh, if your flash drive is already mounted and it will warn you to unmount it, right? And this one is to list out all your your drives uh, when you have this prompt here. So this prompt will tell you if you want to continue or not. And uh, you can actually double check uh, with this to see if the drive that you want to mount, uh, I mean, the, the drive that you want to format is the one that you want otherwise you delete the wrong one okay and this one is uh, passing these um, I guess you can call the arguments I'm not sure about how you say it, but uh, it's passing all these um, things to F this and F this is like a interactive way to create partitions 
Now in Linux, um, you can actually just use the MKFS and then just format the drive. But in Linux, in my experience, it wants you to have at least one partition, even if that partition fills up the whole drive. So that's why we're using FDIS. I mean, this whole thing can be used just, you know, the MKFS command and I'll format the whole drive. But uh, like I said, it, they want you to create at least one partition. That's the reason why I created all these um, other junk in here because, uh, you know, it wants you to create a partition. If it didn't, I would just use the MKFS. But uh, it does want you to do that, so that's why we're using FDIS. I you can use some other tools, but FDIS is installed by default, so that's why I chose this one. Anyways, what does it do here? Basically, this is kind of a lame way to do it, but <laughs> the first part is that it's gonna actually delete uh, any existing partition eight times. I don't know how. I don't know if there's a a, uh, a way to do it like all the partitions so I just did it eight times here so basically what it does is that it'll hit D enter so we have D enter and then the default um, thing is to delete the, uh, the first partition so that's why we have D enter and then enter so that's why you have like a little space here and it does that eight times so that's why we have it uh, eight times here right and then once it gets to uh, this other part here, um, this other part is what was that? Um, to create something, uh, create a new uh, DOS table. You hit O, and then you have a uh, new partition. You hit N uh, right here, N, and then P to print the partition table. And then one is the the first partition. And then you have enter, uh, and then enter. And that is to have the, what was that? The start of the partition and the end of the partition, uh, the defaults, all right? And then it writes it out, uh, pretty simple. It writes it out. You don't need an enter at the end because um, echo by default, uh, without the uh, dash n flag, will do a new line anyway. So that's why we don't have uh, an extra slash n at the end for enter and then after that it will pass it to um, f this right and it will format the whole drive uh well not format it will create the partition and an exit down here this is where it formats it it will use uh mkfs uh, ext2 here or whatever other ones you have um so it'll format it and then um it will do a test mount because by default, when you're creating a, um, what is that, uh, or you when you format a drive, it will not give you read and write permissions um, unless you're like root or something like that. So that's what we're doing here. We're doing a uh, creating a new folder. We're mounting it to that folder, and then uh, we're giving chmod 777, which is read write execute to uh, all, what was that, all users groups and and all the users right and then we unmount it and we delete that folder so that's basically what it does there and pretty much it's the same thing with all the other ext two three and four the only thing that's different is um, you know the commands are mkfs ext3 uh, this one's ext what was that four so those are the only difference between there but once you get to uh, fat32 uh, it's a little bit different because in here, oh, what was that? In here, um, I mean, most of it is the same. Like, you know, you delete the partition, so on and so forth. But once you get to uh, the partition type, because by default, when you're on Linux, the default partition type is Linux. But uh, if you want to change it to a different one, like this one, we wanted to use T, right? T. And this one is to change the partition type, and we change it to B here, and B stands for uh, Windows 95 FAT32 here, and that should work like with uh, you know any any OS because they all support FAT32. Uh, and then you write it out, and in here uh, with FAT32, they like their names to be capitalized. So if you give your you know something lowercase, then it'll convert to uppercase. So that's what I did there for that portion. And then I'll format to FAT32, so on and so forth. 
And with e oh, is that NTFS is pretty much the same as fat. It's just that the difference is um, uh, what was that? The difference between that is that uh, the file types or the partition type, it's a seven because we wanted to use NTFS. Um, I mean, this one supports the other ones too, like uh, extended fat, but we wanted to use NTFS and anything else in here. And then you run the MKFS command for NTFS and it'll format it. Pretty much it, really. Uh, anything else here? Oh yeah, this warning part here. Uh, I wanted to have it to be bash compatible. Um, and ZSH and I think it works with some other uh, shell too but uh, that's the way I did it here for the the warning part here or the last um, you know effort to uh, to cancel out before you type in your password and everything uh, so I did it this way that's about it really so let's give me an example again after you have it all set up uh, let's say we format it to what do we want to format it to now so right now what do we got here? So right now it's mounted as uh, a FAT32, right? A VFAT here. But if I want to uh, format to, let's say, EXT2 or something like that, uh, I can do, let's do it again here. Format, uh, what's that, to EXT2. We'll do a Linux this time. And what do we want to do? We'll give this a name. We'll call this one, I don't know, moon or something, right? And the drive was SDD, right? Now, I can see that if it's mounted, uh, last time we did it with the GUI way. Let's say you want to do it uh, the command line way. Uh, you might have to use sudo, but in this case, mine is not mounted as sudo. So we can do un U mount to unmount something. And then we want to unmount this um, location here, right? So you have to unmount the the partition or the flash drive here. And now when we run that command again, it should continue. And then it will tell you, uh, do you want to continue and so on and so forth. Now in here, I, I show you all the, uh, all the drives that you have on your system or my system in this case. And it will see that it will list out the ones that's on, the ones that's being highlighted. That's the drive you're going to format. So this one's SDD, right? That's going to be format. Right now it's a FAT32, but we're going to change it to Linux soon. So we want to do yes. And then it will type you type your password if you're not already root or something like that. And there we go. It will format it to a Linux uh, ext 2 partition for your flash drive. So we just have to wait here for it to finish. And there we go, it's finished. Uh, you can actually check it out with your GUI if you want. So right now it's called Moon and we can actually read and write in here, right? So on and so forth. There we go, that is the whole function. And I just got lazy of doing it the manual way and I didn't want to do it the GUI way either. So I just created that. Anyways, if you like that, you can go and use it. That's it for this one.